So today we're going to solve word problems using polynomials. So most people find that the hardest part about word problems is setting up your equations. Because if you don't set up your equations correctly, you won't get the right answer to the word problem. So we're just going to do some examples and focus a lot on setting up the equations because solving them is usually pretty easy. So Sally has 21 coins and nickels and dimes. The total is $1.75. How many of each does she have? So we know that her total amount, and I'm going to use in cents just because it's easier, is 175. So we know that we're going to be setting something equal to 175. So when we talked about doing word problems earlier on in the series, I always told you that you have to name your variables. So that's what we're going to do right now. So it doesn't really matter what you call x, you just have to make sure you clarify what it is. So for this one, I'm going to let x be the number of nickels and then since I have 21 coins total if I take 21 and subtract the number of nickels from it I'm going to get the number of dimes so the next thing that we have to remember is that this total is the total cents, not the total um, amount of coins. So that means that we have to multiply the number of nickels by how much a nickel is worth and the number of dimes by how much a dime is worth. So since a nickel is equal to 5 cents, 5x plus, and a dime is worth 10, 21 minus x is equal to our total number in cents, 175 cents. So now we're going to distribute this 10 and you get 210 minus 10x is equal to 175. So we're going to combine this positive 5x and this negative 10x and we get negative 5x and I'm going to subtract this 210 over and you get negative 35 if you divide both sides by negative 5 to get the x by itself you get x is equal to negative 35 divided by negative 5 is going to be a positive 7 okay now when we do word problems we always have to make sure that we answer the question completely. So this question asks how many of each does she have? So remember we got x is equal to 7 and 7 is the number of nickels or x is the number of nickels. So she has 7 nickels and 21 minus x is the number of dimes. So we're going to plug in our x 20 min 21 minus 7 is 14 so she has 7 nickels and 14 dimes and you can always check your work by making sure that 7 times 5 plus 14 times 10 really does equal 175 so 7 times 5 is 35 plus 140 times 14 times 10 which is 140 and that you get 175 and since 175 does equal 175 you know that your answer is correct. So we're going to do one more example and it's kind of similar to the one we just did. So Tim bought stamps for 25 cents and 29 cents. He paid seven dollars and sixty cents for 28 stamps. How many of each stamp did he buy? So again, our total is going to be $760. And 
and I'm going to convert it to cents just because um, I think it's easier to work in cents because each stamp um, has a value that's expressed in cents. So you have to make sure that if you were to do this in dollars that you show this as a portion of a dollar. So we have to name our variables again. So I'm just going to have x be um, equal to the number of 25 cent stamps and then since he bought 28 stamps 28 minus x is going to be the number of 29 cent stamps so just like we did with the last problem we have to multiply each one of these equations or each one of these variables by how much each stamp cost so we have 25 cent stamps which cost 25 cents so 25 X plus 29 times 28 minus X is equal to 760 and this is going to be a really big number so I'm going to have to use a calculator 29 times 28 is equal to 812 minus 29x is equal to 76. We're going to combine our like terms. A positive 25x minus, or adding a 29x is going to give us a negative 4x. And if I subtract this 812 over, you're going to get negative 4x is equal to a negative 52 cents. If you divide both sides by 4, you're going to get x is equal to 13. So again, just like the last one, we have to make sure we answer the question completely. So the question wants to know how many of each did he buy. So x is the number of 25 cent stamps, so he bought 13 25 cent stamps. And 28 minus x is the number of 29 cent stamps, so 28 minus 13 is equal to 15. So then he bought 15 29 cents cent stamps. And you can always check your work by plugging these two numbers in to this equation that you wrote right here. So that's all we're going to do with word problems today. Make sure you come back and check out our next lesson where we're going to start learning about factoring and how it can help us solve equations.